Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Lisa, Best Life Lee. I just wanted to check in with you guys and kind of give you an update as to where I am um, in terms of what I did in the month of March for my, um, you know, my challenge to lose 10 pounds. And if you saw any of those videos, you know I lost five pounds and to, to exercise three times a week. Um, and so I wanted to kind of catch you up. Here we are June 1st and um, I'm out and about. I'm parked, I'm not driving. So <laughs> I'm not uh, driving and on my phone, which here in Massachusetts is against the law now. But anyway, um, I'm at Walmart. For the first time, I'm gonna venture into Walmart. I really haven't ventured out into this kind of environment, but uh, we're, I think, getting to the end of phase one in our uh, re-entry into society. We all have to wear our masks, of course, and I do have mine, uh, which I will be putting on uh, before I go in. But just to kind of get back to the point, um, I did stick with it all the way through the first week of May. I was getting up, I was doing my spin, my yoga, I was doing pretty good um, on the calorie count. And then for some reason, and I have no idea what happened, I um, hurt my back. I started having some back pain. I, The first day I woke up with back pain. And then on that Monday, I, I did do my yoga, but it was really hard to do because of the pain. So I took that rest of that week off from exercise. And then the following week, um, I didn't do anything because of my back. And then the third week in May, I did my um, spin one day. And then the last week, I didn't do anything last week. Um, and this here we are June 1st and I didn't do anything this week so it's so easy to get off track um, and to sort of give it up and once you do sort of give it up it's so hard to um, get back on and, and get back on track and eating wise um, I've been having a party <laughs> I just I haven't been counting any calories I'm trying to eat just two meals a day um, like br um, breakfast and supper or lunch and supper. Um, so, um, and then of course with summer coming and it's getting, you know, the kind of foods that we like to go out for ice cream and stuff like that. So I think, but the other thing about being active is I have done some um, gardening and some kind of um, weed pulling and, and pu putting down mulch. So I am active and I am moving my body so I think that um, for the last couple of weeks with the back pain and then doing some yard work I think I've I've managed to um, keep some kind of activity going on which I'm I'm happy about um, my uh, journal and my planning and my um, I did that for the month of May. I, I did keep that going in terms of what my goals are and things. And one of the things that I um, put down in my calendar is to not take myself so seriously. And that has helped me because I do tend to kind of be a perfectionist. And um, so that has helped me to kind of see things a little bit differently and say, yeah, you know what? Chill out. So it doesn't mean I'm not gonna get back on that bike and I'm not gonna do my yoga because I do plan on it. What I realized about doing my spin is when I'm working out like that, I come up with some really good ideas for um, different things. I had a great idea for my dad's birthday and um, stuff like that. I mean, we're, we're not seeing each other like we would normally and I, I wanted to send him something and I thought about, you know, what, what does my dad like? And I remembered, um, that he likes strawberries and this is a perfect time of year for strawberries. So I had uh, Harry and David, the mail order, I had sent him some strawberries, big juicy strawberries and he loved it. So I, that idea came to me while I was on my spin bike. So I think that um, I do, it's, it's almost like a form of meditation or a form of clearing the cobwebs and you know it's a great opportunity for those um, good ideas to come through so I will 
definitely be getting back on that at some point, but I'm not going to uh, beat myself up about it. And uh, I'm just gonna try to uh, maintain and eat healthy. I'm going to um, not give up on exercise. And I don't have a video, I didn't post a video this past week and this will be the video I'm posting this week, which isn't a video of doing anything. Um, don't have a craft. I don't have um, any unboxing. I don't have any favorites. I do have some favorites building up that I will have that video coming soon. But um, I'm not going to just make up a project just so I can do a video. So I want to do things that are um, authentic. And so this is uh, just a catch up video. I'm gonna be on vacation next week. My birthday is Wednesday, um, actually turning 59. It's like, what? But um, I think I, I, what my plan is, is I took the week off of my birthday. And so I'm going to, the beginning of the week, I'm going to give myself a makeover of my bedroom, which I've wanted to do for a while now. Um, and so I will take you along on that project and uh, that will be the video for that week. Um, so for this week, this is, this is all I'm doing and uh, I hope that everybody is doing really, really well. I hope that um, you're getting through this period of unrest in our country. That's the other thing. We, we just start kind of coming out from under our rocks as it relates to this coronavirus. And now we have some really um, terrible, terrible things going on uh, in our cities. Um, our cities are basically being burned down. I mean, Boston, <laughs> they're burning down Boston too. And um, so I'm, I'm, I have my thoughts on that and I will probably write a blog post to go along with this video. Um, but anyway, so I hope we get through that. I know we will get through that. I know that this will pass and we will get on to the next thing. Uh, so I pray for everyone going through all of that. I pray for people who are involved and I pray for the family of the person who lost his life. Um, and I pray for all of us and I just want to come out on the other side of this crazy time and, and have some normalness and some peace and harmony it's what we've wanted as a human race since I don't know the birth of Jesus I don't know we've been praying for peace on earth forever um, don't know if we'll ever get it but we got to keep praying for it um, way off on a tangent here but anyway I'm going into Walmart I'm gonna get a bunch of groceries and then I'm gonna go home and finish off this week and uh, get on to my vacation next week so take care everyone be safe, be healthy, and I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye for now.